to Basic Java for Beginners uh, Part 6. Um, in this lesson, we're going to take a look at loops. And loops are a way of getting our code to repeat itself. So let's say, for example, we wanted to print the number 0 through 10 on the screen. Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, it gets a little bit tedious, as you can see. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So let's run that, and we can see what the result is. Now, it works, don't get me wrong, um, but let's say we want to print 0 to 1,000. That would take a long time. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a, drum roll please, loop. So the first loop we're going to look at is a for loop. So here is the structure. So for int. So for example, I can use x equals 0, put a semicolon, x less than 10, semicolon, x plus plus. And I'll explain all this in a minute. Put my braces, uh, because this part is what's going to be repeated. And I'm going to say system.out.println x. So let's see what happens. And okay, so let's talk about that for a second here. So we've got for x equals 0. What this means is that the integer x starts at 0. This is our starting value. Okay. This is our testing condition. Is x less than 10? So is 0 less than 10? Yes, it is. Okay. And x plus plus means to add 1 to x. So here's what happens. We get the x equals 0. Say, is x less than 10? Yep. We print lin, print line x, it prints the 0, and then it does x plus plus, it increments the x. Okay, comes back around, x is now 1. Is 1 less than 10? Yes, it is. Print lin, print line 1. Around, 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 around. We get to 9. Okay, so is 9 less than 10? Yep, print it, x plus plus, x is now 10. So. Is 10 less than 10? The answer is no, and it goes to the next line. So if we actually wanted to print the 10, we could do this. Less than or equals to. <coughs> Excuse me, let's test that. And hopefully we'll see a 10. Very good. Or uh, what might come in handy in other situations is we actually use 11. So notice it never actually gets to the 11 because we use x is less than 11. Okay, so that is one way of doing it. Now, let's say we wanted to count from 0 to 10 by 2s. Instead of plus plus, which increments by 1, we could do plus equals 2. What that does is it adds 2 each time. Don't make the mistake of doing x equals plus 2. That will make x2 equal to 2 all the time. So it's x plus equals 2. So I'm going to run that, and we should see 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Again, x starts at 0. 0 is less than 11. Print it out. Add 2. Comes around. 2 is less than 11. Add 2. Print, add 2, print, add 2, print, add 2, print, add 2. Add infinitum. Now, let's say we wanted to print down. We wanted to start at 10. And we wanted to go until x equals 0. So in this case, our condition is going to be greater than or equal to 0. Or we could do greater than negative 1, but let's keep it simpler. Instead of plus plus, now we're going to do minus minus. Okay, so let's watch that. All right, let's take a look. And there we go. So we've got 10. 10 is greater than or equal to 0. Print 10. Subtract 1. That's 9. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then we get to 0. Okay. We subtract 1. Neg negative 1. Negative 1 is not greater than or equal to 0. It stops and goes, stops at that loop, breaks out of the loop, and then goes to the next line after. Of course, there's nothing there right now. Okay. So now that's just basically counting with numbers, and we can use that in all sorts of ways. Uh, oh, just one other thing I wanted to mention. Just as a reminder, there is print rather than print line. 
And what that does is it prints across. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So without the LN, it doesn't go to the next line. Okay, just as a reminder, because um, you might see that at some point. So now this is where I think it gets a little bit more interesting, a little more complicated, but a little more interesting. What if we had a string? Okay, and title, and we'll say pictures of you, which is one of my all-time favorite Cure songs, if not my all-time favorite. So here's what we want to do, is we want to print out each letter separately. Okay, so I, oops, that was dumb. Um, so let's hope it remembers that. We're about to retype it. Oh, come on. And it did not remember it. Okay, let's go back to where I was. So let's say I wanted to print out the separate letters of the title, title, uh, to pictures of you, as I mentioned, my favorite Cure song. And so I've created a string. Now watch what I do here for int, I'm going to use i here. I could use x, but I'm using i because it represents the index, which I'll talk about in a second. And i is less than, now what we want to see here is how many letters are here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So there are 14 letters in this title. I'm going to say i++. Plus plus. Okay. This process is called iteration. So now here's something you need to understand about Java. Um, if you're coming from Python, this you don't have to do this. It's automatic. But because we're doing Java, and Java has its own way of doing things, each, well, let's say this string is made up of letters. Letters are a different type called char, character. So char letter equals title dot char at i. Okay. And then I'm going to say system.out.print letter. Okay. Let me explain that before I run it. So i starts at 0, just like we did before. So 0 is less than 14. So title, which is now pictures of you, the character at i. So i is 0. So when we count the index, and this is a weird computer thing, the index starts at 0. So 0 is p. I is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, did I mess that up? So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So there actually must be 15 letters in here. I probably counted wrong. Um, anyway, so we say we have a character, and it is a letter. And Well, we called it letter, but it's a character type. And we say it is title.care at i, and we're going to print a letter. So let's see what happens. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so pictures of you. Okay, we missed the last one because there are actually 15 letters. Oops. Um, so some of you probably caught that earlier when I was actually counting. I do it all the time. It's actually really hard to do this to talk and to type and, and program at the same time. Uh, yeah, so now we've got pictures of you, each letter on a separate row. Yeah, maybe not the most useful thing in the world, but very cool nonetheless. Now, what if I did this, pictures of you by the cure? I'm going to run that. And you'll notice it's still stopping at you because we told it 15 letters. So what we want to do is we want to use the length. So I'm going to go title dot length, and you need parentheses there. So whatever the length of this is in characters, it will automatically adjust now. Okay, so now if I delete it, by the cure part at least, put pictures of you, we'll get that. Okay, so that is how we can use a for loop to iterate through each character of this string. Now I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to use that same string for a bit and try a couple different ways of doing things. So now here's another way to do it. Uh, for int i equals 0. Oh, not a comma, it's a semicolon. i is less than uh, title.length. 
You notice it's just popping right up here. It's telling you this is one of the possible methods. And I++. Plus plus. Okay. And system.println title dot substring i comma i plus one okay. so let me run that and see what happens and then i'll explain it okay so you can see we've got pictures of you and pictures of you okay substring gives us a uh, well, if you're coming from Python, it's, it's like a slice. So it gives us a section of the text. So if I did say i plus 2, see what happens here. Okay, so it's kind of interesting. So in this one, i is 0. So i plus 2 is 2. So substring gives us 0, 1, but not two. Then the loop goes through, and now i is one, so one plus two is three, so it gives us i and c, then c and t, then t and u, u and r, etc., etc. Notice the spaces are in there as well. Now we got an error because we got up to the length of, which is 15. 15 plus two was, uh, not to go. 17, so that is outside the range, so we got an error. So that is another way of doing, uh, yeah, basically printing characters or subsets of a string, or in this case, a substring, I should use that word. Okay. So if I wanted to print, for example, I'm gonna take that off there in a second, Let's hit run, it's a little slow, and there we go. So if I take that out, and I said, uh, let's see, Pff, fudge, didn't want that to happen, um, didn't want that to happen, <laughs> paste, um, so I said title dot substring, okay, so let's say I want to just get pictures, so I do zero, so, because I'm going to start at zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I want seven, so I have to do plus one and eight, it will ignore the eight and not print that. Okay, so you can see this gave me pictures. All right, um, so I'm gonna delete all that stuff. I'm gonna keep string title equals pictures of you. And the next thing I wanna show you, uh, this is called a for each loop. Um, so Python, in Python this is much easier, so you just say for letter in string, blah, 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 blah. Of course, Java is Java, so watch what I do here. For, and if you remember uh, earlier, I said that each letter is a type called character. So char letter colon title dot two char array. You notice it popped up there for us. And we got things, and then boom. So this is the form format for it. So we taking the title. Okay. It's a string. We're changing it into a character array. And we'll get to arrays uh, in, a, in a future lesson. And then I'm going to do system.outprint letter. Okay. So what this does is for every letter in this string, it's going to do this. So it's going to start the first one, go all the way through, and let us print them out vertically. So and I, again, if I added this by the cure, it will do the exact same thing. It goes from the beginning all the way to the end. So if you ever need to iterate through a, a string, character by character, this is the way to do it uh, if you're going in the same order, start to finish, all the way through. Okay. Um, the next kind of loop, uh, I'm just going to touch on this briefly and uh, then end this lesson. We're using something called a while loop. Okay, so while, so let's say if I say int i equals zero, and then I say while i is less than title dot length. I'm going to use the parentheses there again. Care letter equals title dot care at i. 
and then I'm going to print that letter. Okay, so basically, I'm kind of doing the same thing uh, in a different way. And then I plus plus. Okay. So let me exp well let me run it. Let's see, make sure it works, and then I'll explain it. Okay, pictures of you by the cure. So we start out with an integer i. It is zero. So is zero less than the length of the title? So the title is God knows how many, 20 something. Um, yes, it is. So we create a letter and it is the character at i. So when i is zero, the character is p. Okay. We print out that letter, goes to the next line. Then we increment, we add one to i, comes back around. Is one less than the length of this? Yes, it is. Get the letter at one, which is I, print it out, increment I, go through, etc., etc. Okay, so that is a while loop. Um, while loops are very, very useful. Um, you can use a for loop, you can use a while loop. Um, either way, they do basically the same thing. Um, yeah, I think for now that's a good place for us to stop. That'll hopefully give you uh, the basic concept. Okay, stay tuned for more.